One idea we need in order to work with GLMs is something called the exponential family. And we can consider a distribution, discrete or continuous, so we can write either its density or mass function in this format. It's a function of y given two parameters in general, theta and phi, and these are e to the power y multiplied by theta minus b of theta divided by a of phi plus c of y and phi. And in this format, theta is some kind of location parameter, phi is some kind of scale parameter. And we find that the variance is a function of both these parameters. Mysterious a, b and c are all known functions of some kind. So provided we can write the density or mass function in this format, we have a distribution that can be considered as coming from the exponential family. We can perhaps make this concrete if we consider the Poisson distribution which has a single parameter lambda where y is 0, 1, 2 or in fact any positive integer. As we know the mass function for y given lambda is equal to lambda to the power y e to the minus lambda all divided by y factorial. Now what we need to do is rewrite that in um, suitable format so we'll start by taking everything to be e to the power something. So to make y factorial e to the power something I need to take e to the log y factorial e to the minus lambda is already e to the something so of course lambda to the y I need to take e to the y log lambda. Now I have everything as e to the something and I can write that all in one go as e to the y log lambda minus lambda minus the log of y factorial. The only thing we need to add in here is just to say we could, if we wanted, divide this by 1 and at that point we can see what's going on here. I have y theta. So this is telling us for the Poisson that theta is equal to log lambda. Now the next thing I need is I need b of theta to equal lambda. So I need a function that's going to turn log lambda into lambda. So I have that b is equal to taking e to the power something. This part here represents c of y and phi, but if we notice the divisor by 1, both phi and a of phi are equal to 1. So we can just make a note that a of phi equals 1. So we can see here we have the Poisson distribution written in one of the exponential family formats. This is the canonical form, the form that we're most likely to meet when working with generalised linear models. So, all that remains is to see how the binomial, for example, where the PMF, f of y given p, as we know, is and n is n choose y e to the y 
1 minus p to the n minus y. For example, the normal. Uh, examples of PMFs and PDFs that we should be able to rewrite in exponential family format. Minus a half, y minus mu over sigma squared, square these. So, as a little homework puzzle, rewrite these in terms of the exponential family format.